day to all of you. Our lesson for today will be all about antiderivatives. So when we say antiderivatives, this is also known as integral calculus, which deals with the areas under a curve and volume. So antiderivatives are the opposite of derivatives. An antiderivative is a function that reverses what the derivative does. So let's proceed on your first uh, formula for antiderivatives. So, for example, we have the integral of x raised to n dx. So, the formula will be, or the formula that you will use to get the antiderivative of x raised to n dx will be equal to x raised to n plus 1 all over n plus 1. So, if you still remember, we, when we are deriving, what you are doing is to subtract 1 on your exponent. Then, you will multiply n on your numerical coefficient. So, for this uh, lesson, what you're going to do is to do the reverse. So, what you're going to do is to add 1 on your exponent. Then, you will divide it by n plus 1. So, let's have example number 1. In example number 1, we have the integral of negative 6x raised to 7 dx. So, the first step is for you to add 1 on the exponent. And what you are doing... Uh, and what you have done in your exponent, you will divide it by the, uh, the whole function. So in here, you have negative 6. Pwede ilabas na lang si negative 6 dito kasi constant naman siya. So negative 6 integral of x raised to 7 dx. So next, mag a na lang kayo ng 1 doon sa exponent. So we have negative 6 quantity x raised to 7 plus 1 divided by 7 plus 1. So, the next step, uh, gagawin naman natin is to simplify. So, this will be equal to negative 6x, then 7 plus 1 is equal to 8, all over 8. So, for your final answer, so the simplified form will be, so, both of them can be divided by 2. <coughs> so, this one will be negative 3 over 4. So, the final answer will be negative 3x raised to 8, over 4 plus c. Huwag pong makalimutan yung plus c kasi kapag nagde-derive tayo, lahat ng constant nagiging 0. So, there is no way para ibalik pa natin kung ano yung constant na nawala. So, the final answer uh, should always have plus c sa dulo. So, the final answer will be negative 3 x raised to 8 all over 4 plus c. Okay, next. Example number 2. Uh, let's have integral of 3 over x raised to 4 dx. So, first thing, so the first thing that you have to do is to uh, put your constant outside the integral sign. So, this will be 3 integral of 1 over x raised to 4 dx. Next, you will get the reciprocal of x raised to 4, 1 over x raised to 4, so that you can use the power formula or the power rule. So, this will be 3 integral of x raised to negative 4 dx. Then, we will integrate. So, this will be 3 multiplied by x raised to negative 4 plus 1 over negative 4 plus 1. Simplifying, you will have 3 x raised to negative 3 over negative 3. You can still divide 3 by negative 3. So, this will be equal to negative x raised to negative 3. So, the last thing that you have to do is to get to the reciprocal of this one. So, this will be equal to negative 1 over x cubed plus c. <laughs> Next example, integral of 4 all over 5 plus 3x raised to 5 plus x quantity dx. So to get the integral, we will integrate it by part. So this will be equal to integral of 4 over 5 x raised to 6 plus integral of 3x raised to 5 plus integral of x then, don't forget to put dx on all of your parts. Next, labas natin lahat ng constant. So, this will be equal to 4 over 5 integral of x raised to 6 dx 
plus 3 integral of x raised to 5 dx plus integral of x dx. Then we will integrate it uh, part by part. So this will be equal to 4 over 5 multiplied by x raised to 6 plus 1 over 6 plus 1 plus 3 multiplied by x raised to 5 plus 1 over 5 plus 1 plus x raised to 1 plus 1 over 1 plus 1. Ma'am, bakit may 1 dito? Lahat ng number is raised to 1. Lahat ng variable is raised to 1. So, plus c. Then we will simplify. This will be 4 over 5 x raised to 7 over 7 plus 3 multiplied by x raised to 6 over 6 plus x squared over 2 plus c. So in here, you will multiply the denominator. So this will be 4x raised to 7 over 35 plus 3 x raised to 6 over 6 plus x squared over 2 plus c. Itong part na to, pwede mong masimplify. So, uh, both of them are divisible by p. This will be 1, this will be 3. So, the final answer will be 4x raised to 7 over 35 plus x raised to 6 over 3 plus x squared over 2 plus c. Kapag may questions, pamind-mind na lang. <laughs> Example number 4, integral of 5x cubed over 6 plus 1 over x raised to 4 plus x raised to 4 quantity dx. So first, labas natin muna lahat ng constant. So this will be equal to integral or 5 over 6 integral of x cube, x cube siya kasi nasa numerator plus, uh, wag natin kalimutan yung dx, plus integral of x raised to negative 4 get the reciprocal plus integral of x raised to 4 dx. So this will be equal to 5 over 6 quantity x raised to 3 plus 1 over plus 1 plus x raised to negative 4 plus 1 over negative 4 plus 1 plus x raised to 4 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 plus c. Then let's simplify. This will be 5 over 6 multiplied by x raised to 4 over 4 plus x raised to negative 3 over negative 3 plus x raised to 5 over 5 plus c. We multiply this part, so this will be 5x raised to 4 over 24 plus, get the reciprocal of this one, so this will be 1 over negative 3x cubed. So since this is negative, pwede dito na lang natin siya ilan. Plus x raised to 5 over 5 plus c. So this is the answer. Last example, example number 5. So integral of, let's have integral of square root of x. Dx. So always remember square root of x can be transformed as integral of x raised to 1 half. So, gagawin natin exponential yung radical natin. So, this will be equal to uh, x raised to 1 half plus 1 over 1 half plus 1 plus c. Then, simplify lang natin. This will be equal to x raised to 3 over 2. Bakit 3 over 2? Pamain-main na lang pag may tanong mamaya sa comment section. <laughs> over 3 over 2 plus C. Balik natin to sa radical. So, this will be equal to square root of 
x cube over 3 halves plus c. Si 3 halves, i-divide natin dito. So, this will be equal to 2 square root of x cube over 3 plus c. So, ito na yung sagot. Okay, that's all for this formula. Tama ba yung sagot?